Chapter 2. In this chapter, you will learn how to fill out the Motion to Modify Child Support form, CSX 202. Whenever you are asking a judge, referee, or magistrate to change or modify a court order, you must file a motion. A motion is the legal way to tell the court what you want the court to do or decide. Along with every motion, you must also file an affidavit that explains why you are filing a motion. We will discuss the affidavit to support your motion in the next chapter. This is what the first page of the Notice of Motion and Motion to Modify Child Support looks like. Look on the bottom left hand side of the form for CSX 202. Every court document has a caption, as seen here. It includes the party's names, county where the case is filed, judicial district, court file number, and case type. Once you have opened a court case, this caption always stays the same. For example, if you are the defendant respondent, you will always be the defendant respondent. It does not matter if you are the person requesting the motion to modify. The same is true if you are the plaintiff petitioner. If your child support order is from a divorce decree, then you can check the box for In Re the Marriage of at the top of the caption. If you are never married to the other party, these forms are still the correct forms to use. Just don't check the box at the top. You should already have a copy of your current order. If so, you can copy this information from that court order. Time to fill out your motion to modify child support form. As I pointed out on the previous slide, you should fill in the county where your case is located, fill in the judicial district, court file number, and type of case. You can see it, that in this example, the case is located in Blue Earth County, which is in the 5th Judicial District. Again, this will be different for each individual case. The petitioner in this case is Wilma Flintstone. Since the last time they were in court, she has remarried and is now known as Wilma Rubble. If your name or the other party's name has changed, it is fine to write NKA, which stands for now known as, to indicate what their new name is. The respondent and the person filing this motion to modify child support is Fred Flintstone. Be sure to review the copy of your court order to see if there are any additional parties that intervened in your case. The county attorney may or may not have intervened on behalf of the county. The next section of the motion is the notice to interested persons. The first space is for information about the other party. You will have to write in his or her full name and address. If you do not have an address for the other party and you have absolutely no way of finding out their address, then you may leave this portion blank. You will have to fill out additional forms and get permission from a judge to have the child support office serve the papers to the other party. These forms will be addressed in the chapter for service. The second space is for the county attorney's address. You do not need to write the actual name of the county attorney. In our example, the Blue Earth County Attorney's Office will be served and their office is located in the Blue Earth County Justice Center. Again, this contact information is generally found in your court order. If not, you can contact your child support office for the county attorney's information or the county attorney's office directly. On the bottom half of the form, fill out the name of the building where the hearing will be held and the address. Once you have completed these forms, you will call court administration and the county where the case is filed to request a hearing date and time for your motion. Contact information for each Minnesota courthouse is available on the Minnesota Judicial Branch website. Before you move on with this video, I would suggest finding this information at www mncourts.gov forward slash child support videos. Click on the contact court administration link and select your county where the case is located. You will need this information to get a court date and time for your hearing. Now that you have the contact information for your particular courthouse, we can move on with the rest of their form. 
As I explained at the beginning of this chapter, a motion is the legal way for you to tell the judge what you want to change in a court order. You must first tell the judge what court order you want to change. Look at the date of the existing order you want to change and write that in your form. You can see that there are many different options that are commonly requested in a motion to modify child support. Carefully review the options available to you and check the box next to what it is you are asking the court to do. Remember, the child support magistrate can only hear issues related to child support. Other family law related issues, such as custody and parenting time, cannot be heard by the child support magistrate. You can choose to increase, decrease child support, child care, arrear payments, or have medical support issues addressed. In this particular case, Fred is asking for several changes. He wants to decrease his basic child support due to his recent unemployment, and he no longer has insurance coverage available for the child, so he wants the other parent to provide coverage. He is also asking that he be granted the tax exemption for the child in odd years. The tax exemption is dependent on his child support payments being current and must conform to current tax laws. If you are unsure of what to ask for in your motion to modify child support, then I would encourage you to get some legal advice. Notice is given to the other party about their rights and responsibilities for responding to your motion to modify child support. If they are interested in settling or coming to an agreement, they should contact you. Write in your name and a telephone number where you can be reached. On the last page of your motion paperwork, print your name, address, telephone number, and then sign and date the form when you are finished with all of your forms. This is the end of Chapter 2. Click on the next chapter to learn how to fill out the Affidavit in Support of Motion to Modify Child Support.